Hello everyone, my name is Raula Khan and I'm your Max Guide. Today I'm going to discuss about Max Japanese Government Scholarship. So the topic is eligibility criteria. What actually the eligibility criteria is whether you are eligible to apply for Max Scholarship or not. So let's discuss this right now. So I'm going to share general eligibility criteria. The first thing is that applicants must have the nationality of a country that has dip diplomatic relations with Japan. So you can just check whether you have the embassy of Japan in your country. Like we have embassy of Japan in Pakistan. So if you have embassy there, it means you have a diplomatic relationship. The second thing is that an applicant who has Japanese nationality at the time of application is not eligible. So if you have Japanese nationality, you cannot apply to max scholarship. Sorry for that. So the third thing is that applicants in principle must have been born. So there's age limit as well. So you must be born after 1985, April 2. Third thing. If you wanted to apply for master course, you should have at least 16 years of education in country other than Japan. And the second thing, CGPA should be at least minimum criteria 2.3 out of 3. Or I have converted to give you a rough idea on, uh, on the scale of 4, which is 3.067. If you have a CGPA below this uh, 3.067, it means you are unfortunately ineligible to apply for max scholarship however if you have 3.067 above than that you are eligible for this scholarship however the uh, to calculate this cgpa there is a different procedure where you have to calculate to grade but just to give you a, a rough estimate you can use this again now if you wanted to apply for phd the applicant who have completed 18 years of school education in countries other than Japan. So must have a CGPA 2.3 out of 3, which is again 3.067 out of 4. So this is the eligibility criteria to apply. If you are in the final year, you can apply. I will discuss this topic later because it's too much uh, uh, long discussion. So I will discuss later. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please. Thank you.